Again, I just can I just uh, um, also just say one more thing. Um, we had, I think, three or four additional posters that have, were, were posted during the morning session. So I want to um, really uh, mention that we're, we're uh, allowing people to post their um, posters on our Slack channel. So that information is in our chat um, window. So continue to do that. Um, continue to use the Q&A for questions. And um, please, comments throughout the, the chat would be fantastic. Um, so I will kick this off. Um, again, it's Diane Keogh. I'm going to be um, kicking this off with uh, David uh, Diamond from Dell Technologies. Um, just a, a, a heartfelt thank you to Dell for, um, for, for uh, funding three projects uh, for the foundation. And I'll, I'm just going to mention this one second. Um, Dave will talk a little bit about um, their the program they have at Dell that has allowed this to happen. And then we'll have um, a few other of our folks uh, give you a high level overview of those um, of those projects. And so the funding for three projects is really to advance cooperative efforts um, across research organizations, organizations spanning industry, academia, and government. Um, and these projects, you know, one is to create a Transmart public instance for genomic uh, data. One is to launch a website of uh, profiles of uh, COVID-19 um, researchers or COVID-19 authors really worldwide to help collaborators and uh, team uh, and building teams and Griffin will talk about that. And the third one is to streamline the ITB2 Transmart um, installs for rapid expansion of um, federated queries and analysis of clinical and genomic data. And we envision, although these are very much related to COVID-19, we envision this to be a model for both COVID-19 and, um, and future healthcare um, global, global emergencies. So I'm going to turn this over to Dave and he'll talk a little bit about his, um, uh, Dell and this initiative. Okay, thanks for the great tee, tee up. Uh, excited to be here. I think virtual works great. I've referred a number of my colleagues and uh, fellow employees to this, and also it's delighted, delightful that it's going to be uh, all taped. That's just a wonderful thing. So, uh, as Zach had mentioned, um, we've been tracking the I2P2 Transmart uh, Foundation for quite a while. I was actually uh, my first um, my first meeting at Harvard about 10 years ago, and have stayed in touch, and you know, from time to time uh, attending those. Uh, it's, it's really important to note that a number of our customers are involved in IT, I2B2 CTSA customers. But let me just give you a little bit of background. I am the Chief Innovation Officer for Dell Technologies Healthcare and Life Sciences business and heavily involved in our social innovation uh, mission and vision and execution uh, with customers of that. So Dell Technologies has about 90 billion, uh, 90 billion in revenue a year got more than 160,000 employees across the globe. Uh, in our healthcare business, which I lead innovation in, um, we're the seventh largest IT company in the healthcare innovation top 100. HIMSS Analytics has us at about 50% IT market share, and that's across a base of our 5,000 customers. And our business, not just because of pandemic, but everything leading up uh, into precision medicine is growing about 30, about 30% 30 a year. And to give you some context, we have a very focused mission um, at Dell on how we innovate. And we do it by getting our technologies involved, our advanced technologies involved in customer collaborations. And we're here to foster the development more of a social enterprise op operating model versus a competitive one. Uh, and the, our vision really on how we execute on this is to provide technology and product development resources, R&D, not just in healthcare, but across several industries that will be applicable or are starting to be applicable. But we focus just on open innovations collaborations uh, when things are moving really fast. We do this to accelerate human health progress and our measurement, our metric, key metric for us internally and that we you know, we promote externally is that we're going to provide this enduring impact to 450 million lives. And that's part of uh, a 2030 moonshot goal from Michael Dell to impact a billion lives by 2030. So healthcare is obviously going to do that. Um, what's going on right now in the world um, helps accelerate that. And in l looking at how we would effectively work um, with the foundation, um, 
how we would align with it. it. It's really the goal is to distribute the problem solving. And for us, as a large healthcare company in the industry, is to help think of us as a kind of a friction-free technology point of view with a number of our resources on how to build and participate in an ecosystem. Um, and through that, what we're talking about today is how we can help develop a portfolio of customer projects um, and foundation projects to really maximize that social impact. So on COVID, as Zach mentioned, um, you know, there's no better place for our commitment. Our focus is on, uh, on our return on impact and our North Star strategy for all of our healthcare businesses, precision population health engagement. And that gets down to, you know, data scale, uh, and analytics. What we can bring is to take on the engineering challenges, and that's any workload, any cloud, and the focus is all open source, open data, open science. And so, uh, you know, without further ado, we can hop into session. I will say that we're really honored to be part of the foundation, and we are totally committed to its future and to do more things like uh, we've done with funding these projects. Thank you. Super, thank you again. And thank uh, the foundation uh, and Michael for us. I think it's, it cannot be overstated. And um, you know, our first paper uh, is coming out with Nature Digital uh, Medicine in a week at least, or, no, or less with an editorial, I think, which will speak to the fact that a lot of EHR driven stuff is not 100% reliable and having people who actually understand the underlying data is important. So again, thank you. And it's, I hope you feel your investment is very leveraged. Thank you. Wow, Dave, David, that's an impressive background. I've never seen someone do dark as well. Like this is like a Darth Vader thing. It's, you know, that's what people say. Um, I've heard that before, and I have the dash lighting underneath, you know? Yeah. Um, I, got, I got it from that, that Lincoln commercial, you know? Yeah. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, no, I love those commercials. So how do you, how do you actually make it so, so black behind you? Uh, that's just an old beat-up curtain from my son's room when my wife uh, changed curtains. I'm not going to lie. The back cave is behind me, and it's too much back there to show. I don't want to distract people. Impressive. Impressive. 